People who live on one street in South Pittsburgh are having issues with cats overtaking their property. News Channel 9's Drew Vallejo went to find out just how bad the problem is and if anything's being done to resolve it. Drew? Calvin, 25 to 30 feral cats have made a section of Holly Avenue their own litter box, which has some residents angry and others at a loss for what to do. We arrived on Holly Avenue in the tidiest town in Tennessee to find several cats roaming the area. Multiple cats. <laughs> I mean, there are lots of cats. Jerry Griffith is fed up with yeah, having cats know. take over her lawn. They're messing up our yards. There's fleas. They won't keep them at home. They won't take care of them. They won't get them fixed. Uh, it's just, they just keep inbreeding them. They just keep having them. Residents of Holly Street have gotten so upset with the cats overrunning their properties that they're asking for their neighbors to be respectful of their yards. Angelia Taylor walks through the neighborhood each day and began a petition to ask the city to control the cats for health reasons. I'm allergic to cats, so I try to stay away from them, but I know I have trouble breathing in this area because there's so many cats. To get to the root of the problem, we approach the house where neighbors say the cats are coming from. Dana Boatwright admits that at one time she had up to 30 cats. It's a serious problem because of my child and everything, the people that live here, and I'm sorry about the whole situation. She's already given dozens away and has asked for help from local authorities, but nothing has been done. I've been to the health department. I've done everything possible. Griffith has also made calls to the police and would like to see the city step in so she can enjoy time with her family. I can't even get out in, in my yard and play with my grandbabies, you know. I get all upset. Over. Today we made several calls to the Marion County Health Department and the South Pittsburgh City Hall. There is no animal control there or local humane society, and no one had an answer for who's responsible for dealing with the stray cats. It seems residents will continue to grow angry with the problem. All right, Drew, thanks so much.